Welcome back. You're still tuned into Chart Busters. It's time to talk uh, about uh, some stocks which are in news. Bicon stock is under pressure today as multiple other pharma companies line up to launch a key drug which the company is going to launch. Ekta Batra is here to tell us more and what the implications are. Ekta? Thanks for that. Well, this is with regards to Umera or Adali Mumab, which is basically a biosimilar which is used to treat multiple conditions such as arthritis, psoriasis, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis. So now basically the news is that Coheris Biosciences, which is a pharmaceutical company, has launched Umera in the US markets. It is expected to be a steep discount, but on an average, the discount is expected to be lesser. Now remember that the competition has already begun for this particular biosimilar. Amgen, for example, has already launched this uh, biosimilar uh, a couple of months ago and Biocon is expected to probably launch it in July. But along with Biocon, there are expected to be five to six odd companies which will be launching their biosimilar version of Umera in the US markets as well. So that would mean maybe a total of around eight to nine players in the market. Now, interestingly, I did speak to a couple of analysts with regards to the Umera launch. It does become interesting because remember, this is one of the most successful biosimilars that we've seen. It's around a $20 billion market size before we saw competition come in. It is a drug which is uh, by the pharmaceutical company Abvi. Now, the drug, uh, or rather the biosimilar, that Biocon is expected to launch is expected to be a low concentration version. So there are two concentrations of this particular biosimilar in the US markets, which is high concentration, which has a higher market size of around 15 to 17 billion because uh, it is expected to be administered more easily. And the low concentration size, which is basically what biosimilar, uh, which is what Biocon is probably going to launch in the month of July. So as of now, the street is not anticipating a launch of the high concentration version for Biocon, but the other companies are, however, expected to launch the low concentration version, the version that Biocon will be probably launching. So that means that there could be a, uh, there could be a market size which could be dwindled and hence Biocon could probably make around $100 million in terms of peak sales from this particular drug on an annual basis uh, or there could be a uh, you know the annual the peak sales eventually could be around 100 million dollars much less than probably what the street was anticipating earlier so that's the dynamic for a dali mumab at this point in time uh, there will be more competition that we can see in the coming days all right, Ekta, thanks a lot for that. A bunch of stocks doing well from the frontline end as well. We have uh, HUL and Titan. Both of them have moved to the high point of trade. But uh, D